Hi guys, this is Pin Binning from DJ and Driving School. So I just want to let you guys know that this video was recorded about a week before I uploaded it. And within that time, Curran did his real driving test. And the result of his actual driving test is shown towards the end of this video. And if any of you would like to do a mock driving test for our YouTube channel, then please get in touch by visiting our website www.dgndriving.co.uk. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So we've got Curran here who contacted me because he's got his test coming up next week. Yeah, next week. Yeah. And he's been watching some of our videos and he wanted to do a mock test here to see how ready he is for his test. So he hasn't actually been having lessons with me. He's been having lessons with a different instructor. It's the first time we're meeting today, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. His instructor's sitting at the back, Dan. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah. So I'm basically just going to treat this like a test and we're going to see how ready you are. Okay. Yeah, and then um, any mistakes that you do do, we'll talk about talk about them at the end. Uh, so just before we start, yeah, it's a few things for you guys. So on our previous video, we had a, uh, a few comments, main issues. People are saying, okay, the instructor is not really talking. So it's a mock test, yeah. I'm not supposed to be talking on a mock test. If it was if I, if I was giving him a lesson, I'd be obviously telling him what to do. We'd have a laugh, and I'd obviously help him out with anything he needs help on. But on a mock test. I'm going to stay quiet and just basically treat, treat it like a test because on your test the examiner will not be talking to you all the time well they might have a little chat say if you're waiting at lights and that yeah Karen yeah. but they won't be talking talking with you throughout the test at all the other thing um, some some people are saying okay the mock test videos are too long so what I'm going to do for that instead of um, uploading every single minute yeah what I'll do is because it normally lasts about 40 to 45 minutes mm -hmm. we'll just um, take out say the boring bits yeah and just um, keep the bits in there where either you're making a mistake or if you're doing something say if you're doing a big roundabout or something yeah we'll leave that in there yeah okay and um, obviously people people are saying okay the the learner is making loads of mistakes he shouldn't be going for this test obviously on a mock test everyone makes mistakes that's the whole point of this yeah when the learner makes mistakes you guys are going to benefit from it yeah so you can watch the mistakes and any mistakes that I find that learners make on the mock they don't make them on the test. So that's the whole point of it, yeah? Right, so we're gonna treat it like a test. Are you ready, Karen? Yeah. So before we so before we get started, yeah, we'll go through um, the, uh, one of the show me, tell me questions. So could you tell me how you check your brakes are working before you start a journey? Press the brake pedal. Press the brake pedal, and how would you do it? lights the back. You're checking the reflection. That's all so, good. okay, remember what the question was. It wasn't about brake lights, so could you tell me how you check your brakes are working before starting the journey? Not the brake lights. Oh, a lot uh, of people get this question mixed up with the lights. Maybe go a bit forward and press the, like, press the brake, check if they're working properly. Then how would you know? Do you know the what car would stop? Uh, not the car really. Slow down. Not really. So give you the correct answer? Yeah. Okay, so the correct answer for this is, so you'd press the brake pedal and the pedal should not feel spongy or slack. Okay. And also, you know, when you do brake, the car should not pull to one side. So, one, found, one thing we found out already, you need to revise those questions, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, so we're starting off at Wolverhampton Test Centre. And we're going to start off with following the sat-nav, yeah. So the main thing that you said that you feel still not 100% on was roundabouts. Roundabout, yeah. So I'm going to do a test route with loads of roundabouts, yeah. Okay. And because, obviously, you and your instructor, well, you both think that you're at quite a good level of driving, yeah. I've, I've never seen you drive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So, so what we're going to do is, um, it's going to be quite challenging. We're going to start off with following the sat nav, yeah. But after the sat nav, what I'll do, I'll make you follow some signs as well. Obviously, you won't get both of that, yeah. You'll either get the sat nav or following the signs. I'll do a bit of both, yeah. Okay, so we'll really test you, yeah. You okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. Any mistakes you make, I won't come in. I'll just jot them down and we'll talk about it yeah. at the end, yeah. Obviously, in the video. You guys will know just before he's going to make the mistake. Okay, ready? Yeah. Right. So, whenever you're ready, you could move on. Yeah. Are you asking your instructor to start the car? <laughs> it's always done. <laughs> Just before we start now, to point out, that's brilliant what he's done. So the screen's quite misted up, and he didn't move off, he waited for the screen to clear. Yeah? I have had people try and move <laughs> off and they can't see anything out the window, yeah? so that's a good start. Okay. 
So moving off whenever you're ready and the sat nav's not really gonna I think pick up in this estate here, yeah. Okay. okay? I'll tell so you when I'll to start following the sat nav, I'll direct you for the first couple of uh, turns. As we start out, I'd just like to point out that any serious faults that occur in us will be shown in a red coloured text and any not so serious faults will be shown in an amber coloured text. So here we have a right turn at the traffic lights, which current deals with really well. Here there are excellent mirror checks before and after overtaking the parked car. Here, Karen picks up a driving fault for a slight rollback as he stops behind this car. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit. Here we're coming up to a right turn at a big roundabout and it deals with this really well. Go left on the roundabout, first exit. And these are good observations as he joins onto the dual carriageway and picks a safe gap. When going straight ahead at this roundabout, Curran keeps a good position and sticks well to his lane. So Curran is driving really well so far, but a serious driving fault is coming up very soon. Cross the roundabout, first exit, then keep right. And again, really good observations and good positioning at this big roundabout. His lane change on the dual carriageway is really good. After 400 yards, keep right. Keep right.
the sat nav now, yeah? I'll give you the directions for a bit. So here is Karen's first serious fault. So at the moment he's in the right hand lane, which is fine because there's only one lane. But when he goes into two lanes, he should go back into the left lane. But as you can see, he doesn't. And in the end, I have to tell him to come back to the left hand lane. So that would definitely be a serious fault as the right hand lane is normally used for overtaking or turning right. We do talk about this in a bit more detail at the end of the test. We are going to take the next exit here of uh, the new carriage. Here we have a driving fault where Curran signals too late. He should have signaled on approach, but he forgets to. And he does signal, but he does he as he enters the roundabout. Here I've given Curran another driving fault. So this is for when exiting the roundabout, he should be checking his mirrors a lot more than he's doing at the moment. He only has one glance, which isn't really enough. The roundabout, if you could turn right, second exit. Then he does the same thing again here, where his mirror checks when exiting the roundabout are a bit weak, so another fault. Here I ask him to park up in a safe place then move off when he's ready and he does this really well. At this big roundabout, Curran's positioning and observations, his mirror checks are better. Again, he sticks to his lane really well when going straight ahead. Okay, that's the end of the sign following now. If you could take the second exit to the left, please. Let's round a bit. So here we have another serious driving fault. So I asked Karen to turn left, second exit. So he should have used the left lane. As you can see, it's clearly marked for the left turn and we are turning left, but he uses the middle lane, which is only used for straight ahead. So another serious fault. Again, we do talk about this in a lot more detail at the end of the test. Of 
Here we do the manoeuvre where the ask car to park up on the right hand side of the road, then reverse back two car lengths and move off when he's ready and he does this really well. Okay, and if you could uh, reverse back two car lengths. Traffic lights turn right. Again, here, current deals really well with the right turn at traffic lights. Here he does really good mirror checks again when overtaking the parked car. At the mini roundabout, turn right, second exit. Here I give Curran a driving fault for hesitation. So as he's approaching this roundabout, he should just look to the right hand side and just continue because there's nobody coming from the right hand side. But instead, he starts to look at the car ahead, the yellow car, and holds back for it. Whereas Karen has got priority over that yellow car, so he should have just gone instead of waiting. Overall, he doesn't do too bad on this big roundabout, but just like earlier, his observations when exiting the roundabout are quite weak. Again, as you'll see here, just one mirror check, which isn't enough, especially on a big roundabout like this. Here, Curran shows good awareness of the road markings and selects the correct lane for straight ahead. Coming up now, the road bends slightly to the right and Curran gets a bit confused about which direction he's going in, but he does the correct thing by asking me, so I help him out a bit. I see many people getting confused with filter traffic lights with the green arrows and the red light coming up together, but current deals with it really well. You can take the next turning on the right, please. Here I give current a driving fault for his gear choice. So when turning right, there's no oncoming vehicles, so we can just take the turn, so we should select gear two and just continue. But he gets gear one, which slows us down a bit more than we need to, and therefore I give him a driving fault for his gear choice. Again, I ask Karen to park up, then move off, 
and he does this really well, especially with the moving off. He waits patiently for a safe gap and goals without obstructing anybody else. And move whenever you're ready. After turning right at these traffic lights, Curran has a choice of two lanes and he selects a left hand lane which is good. So here the two lanes merge into one and Curran does good observations and checks that no one's overtaking him. This is the final time as Curran to park up and move off and again he does it really well especially the parking up because when asked him to park up there is a junction on the left hand side and he waits to pass the junction before he indicates left to park up which is really good. And move off whenever you're ready. Here now we're getting back to the test centre, so this is where we're going to talk about what's happened and let's see if Curran's realised the faults that he made. So, if you could switch off the engine for me. Right. How do you think that went? I think it went good. I messed up on that part where you told me to go straight and got confused and went right instead. Uh, which uh, part was that? I think it was Belston. And then I asked, um, are we going Oh, no, no, you were, you were correct yeah, there. Right. Yeah, was I right? Yeah, you were correct there. So, we're going... Um, I just asked you to follow the road ahead, yeah. Oh, if you look okay. at the road markings, there were giveaway markings and broken up white lines for that new road, yeah. If I had asked you to turn left, that's where you should have gone. Oh, then. so I did it right. Yeah, I'll follow the correct, yeah. You yeah. can watch that back on the video, yeah. And right. you know when you see the see the markings, a lot of people do get confused there. But it's good you asked me, didn't you, at that yeah, point? Close. Yeah. Same when you test. If you're a bit confused, you can ask. Well, I didn't give. You, I didn't say to you, yeah, it's not this turn. I want you to follow the road. I just asked you, yeah, just. Follow the road ahead, didn't I? Yeah? yeah. So only the examiner will only help you as much as they're allowed. We won't like um, tell you yeah do this or do that. Yeah. Okay. So that part was fine. Is there anywhere else where you think you've uh, you um, messed up anywhere? Not, not messed up that bad, but um, maybe my speed. I think I was speeding on one road. Mm -hmm. Speed was pretty good. Yeah. Overall mirrors were really good as well. Um, so you don't realise where you made two serious faults, at least two. Nah. Nah. Okay. I'll, shall I go through that with you? But overall, I think you're gonna totally smash your driving test because you still got what, a week, few days before it. Yeah. yeah? And um, you can obviously sort of these 
faults that we have got here. Um, but they were fixed, they did a lot of positives. Brilliant with the mirrors. Yeah, like I said, watch back the video, yeah. yeah. And I'll put all the, like I said, I'll, I'll cut the video and um, put the good parts and bad parts, yeah. Okay, so your mirrors when overtaking park cars, really good. In general, when you're braking and that, you're okay. checking your centre mirror well, yeah, okay. Uh, where your mirrors can improve is, you know, when you're stationary. Yeah. Yeah, when you're parked up in traffic and, yeah. and that, and you're moving off, yeah. Do you know which mirrors you're supposed to check just before moving off again? Um, centre right. Maybe you pose your side ones. Side yeah, on. really all of them, but your side ones are really important. So when you're in, so you're in the dual carriage a couple of times, yeah, yeah. in traffic, yeah. So and when you're moving off again, what could come up in the side gap? The bicycle. That's it. So you should check the side mirrors when you're stationary. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, the two serious faults. Well, I'm going to give you three to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you why. I said I do be a bit extra harsh on these uh, mock tests. Yeah. Okay. Um, the first one. So remember when we were following the sat nav. Yeah. Yeah, you were driving pretty well up to there, and then I asked you, I said, um, we're not going to follow the sat-nav anymore, yeah, I'm going to switch it off, yeah. and then I'm going to give you instructions, yeah. So we're heading towards Warsaw, yeah. So you're in the right-hand lane first, because there's only one lane you could be in, yeah. but then he split up into two lanes, yeah, and which lane, when he split up into two lanes, which Should lane, the left one. yeah, which one did you keep driving in? Not right lane, overtaking yeah. lane. Yeah, and you kept driving in the overtaking lane, yeah, it's only until I said, so I waited and waited, and then... Obviously, if I'd give the instruction too late, we would have missed, probably missed our turning. Yeah, so I had to say to you, look, we are going to take the next turning on the left. We should have come back to the left. Yeah, like you said, you, that's the, what's that right hand lane for? Overtaking. Overtaking, so you should have come back. Okay. Into the, or if you knew you were turning right, but we, there was no right turn there, yeah. was there. Okay, so that would have been a serious fault. And the other one, um, when we were following the signs to Dudley, yeah, you did that really well on the big roundabout and then I said to you, no more sign following, I'll give you the instructions and the instruction I gave to you on that roundabout was turn left, second exit. Yeah, so take the second exit on the left, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And there were road markings. Yeah, there was a left arrow, there's a straight ahead one. Yeah. So, you know, therefore that second exit to the left, do you know which lane you should have used? The one on the left? Yeah. I was in the second one, I think. Yeah, you were in the, in the middle one. Yeah, which way does that middle one go? Straight. Yeah, but which way were you going to go? Left. Yeah. So, you know that left lane you can use because there was two exits that went to the left there. Yeah. So you Not because I that. knew those two exits and yeah. that first one's like a tight one. Yeah. Yeah, so I thought that was, that lane was... For that one field. only? Yeah. Okay. So, but, you know that, that lane, it wasn't for that one only, it was for that okay. second exit as well. Because which way was that second exit? Left. That's it. Okay. You understand, yeah? So, if you're turning left, and there's a left arrow on the floor, you use that lane, yeah. Okay, so don't, a lot of people think that, you know that left lane, yeah. it's only just for that first exit. Now if there's a second exit, it's also to the left, then you still still use that lane. If the second exit was straight ahead, then you then you straight. should have used the middle lane, yeah. yeah. You understand that, yeah? yeah? So those are the main two, but I'm going to add another one on, yeah. For your mirrors on roundabouts when you're turning right. Yeah, so you know when you're turning right at the roundabout, so we did loads of big roundabouts today, yeah. yeah, again, watch back on the video. So, you know when, uh, you, say you're ta taking the third exit to the right, yeah, which um, which mirrors are you supposed to check once you've entered the roundabout and you're going to exit? Um, Centre right. So you're, you're, you're on the no, roundabout, you're turning right, you've entered the roundabout, yeah, yeah. Oh, you entered the to the roundabout, it's so really good, yeah. So you've entered the roundabout, and say you're taking the third exit, you get by the second exit, yeah, and you're going to exit the roundabout now. Centre so, left. Centre left, yeah, okay. At what point should you start checking those mirrors? As soon as you've just gone past the exit before you're going to take. Yeah, around then, or, or even yeah. when you level with it, yeah, okay. Uh, you were checking your mirror, it's not that you weren't checking it, but there was just one little glance. Okay, there's one little glance, and that enough. was it. That's not enough, yeah. 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 On, especially on the big ones, because what are you doing, you know that... The third exit, yeah. yeah. Okay, it wasn't like as it's straight after the second one, yeah. Okay, it's it's a short distance away, yeah. And remember, you're changing from the right lane to the left lane, and you check your mirror, and then a few seconds later you're moving over, and some anything, anything could have come up on in that left lane. So one one check is not enough. Okay, you need to do at least two or three checks regularly on those big roundabouts. Yeah, and that happened. I think on one roundabout you did check it twice. Yeah, but on most of them, so it was just one. <coughs> yeah, probably about four times that did. Yeah, so I've turned, I've, because so, there's loads of miners, I've turned that into a serious fault, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so you get that? Yeah.
And mine is, there was no other minor fault that kept, like, okay. kept happening again and again. There are a few minors again. Watch watch the video back here. I'll put them all, I'll explain them all on that, yeah. Um, like, I've explained the mirrors when you're stationary. Yeah, the side ones. The other thing, have you noticed how you hold the steering? <laughs> you're supposed to hold it like that, yeah, okay. Um, but a lot of the times, you have just that thumb on there, and these fingers be around here doing nothing. <laughs> like that, yeah. So, hold it, always make sure you've got a good grip, yeah. just in case you hit a pothole or something. Yeah, yeah someone needs you, at least you've got good control. Yeah. For that, can the examiner really fail you? No. Not really, but again, what kind of impression does that create to the examiner? And more important than your safety. Yeah. Yeah, so always make sure you've got a good grip. Okay. Okay, so do you think that mock test helped you? Yeah. Yeah? Like I said, I think you not gonna have many issues overall your driving is really good yeah you're not gonna have many issues you sort this um sort these things there and you should be absolutely fine like the the the, the roads that i took you on they weren't easy no, they're quite challenging yeah okay you did really well on them. and guys if you found that video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video now it's time to tell you what actually happened on current's real driving test so he went for his test and I'm glad to say he passed with just one minor fault. Congratulations and a big well done to Curran.